Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of helping calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter compound interest, exercise 10.3 class 8. So, if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 8 book, you can go by the uh, playlist or uh, go by the dis uh, description box of this video where all the solution videos are available. The chapters which I have, I have solved so far are rational numbers, exponents, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, playing with numbers, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, linear equations in one variable, percentage and its applications, compound interest, direct inverse variation, quadrilateral probability, surface area and volume, and the chapters of class 7 which I have solved are integers, fractions, decimals, rational numbers, linear equations, lines and angles, triangles and its properties. So, sare playlist ke link mein is video ke description box mein de dungi. Aap maha ja ke check out kar sakte hai. And please subscribe the channel, share the video, like the video. It takes few minutes or few seconds to do the same. So, do it. So, not, not waste further time. Let's check it out how to solve question number 11. So, question number 11 is, at what rate percent per annum will rupees 31,250 amount to rupees 39,366 in three years compounded annually? So, we will start with Principal is equal to given hai rupees 31,250. Amount is given as rupees 39,366. Time is given as 3 years. Rate we have to find out. We know the formula to find out the amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power n. So, amount is given as rupees 39,366. Principal is given as rupees 31,250. 1 plus rate we have to find out. So, we will write r only. 100 raised to the power n means time which is given as 3. I hope this much is very much clear. Now, let's move further. So, we will shift 31,250 to LHS. Is equal to 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power 3. Cancel it. It will go by 3 only. 3 ones are 3. 0 are 3. 4 are 12. 3 ones are 3. And three one is zero, so now it will not go, go by three. We have to do it again. It will go by uh, two, 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 two ones are two, two fives are ten, two six are twelve, two twos are four, two fives are two. And here, 3 ones are 3, 3 is a 9, 3 ones are 3, 3 two is 3 twos is 6. Now it will go by 2 only. I'm mistaken. 2 ones are 2, 2 nines are 18, 2 six are 12, 2 eights are 16, and 2 three are 16. 1 nine six eight three. So we can see that 1 nine six eight three uh, will go by. One nine six eight three is the cube of twenty seven, and one five six two five is the cube of twenty five. Got it? How to find it? Just have the LCM. Three six are eighteen. Three fives are fifteen. Three six and three ones are three. Three two are six. Three ones are three. Three eights are twenty four. 
थ्री सेवन से ट्वेंटी वन अगेन थ्री सेवन से ट्वेंटी वन थ्री टू जो सिक्स थ्री नाइन से ट्वेंटी सेवन थ्री टू जो सिक्स थ्री फोर जो ट्वेल्व थ्री थ्री जो नाइन थ्री एट जो ट्वेंटी फोर वन जो थ्री टू जो सिक्स थ्री सेवन जो थ्री नाइन जो थ्री थ्री जो एंड थ्री सो थ्री थ्री एंड थ्री सो इट विल बिकम थ्री थ्री नाइन थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वन नाइन सिक्स एट थ्री इज द क्यूब ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड वन फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव इज द क्यूब ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वी विल राइट इन बिकॉज वी हैव डन इट इन एक्सपोनेंट वी हैव डन अर्लियर सो वी नो दैट हाउ वी कैन कंसाइज इट सो वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड प्लस टू पावर थ्री लेट्स मूव फर्दर we will write since powers are same bases will also be same सो ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल हो जाएगा वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड ब्रिंग दिस वन टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस वन इक्वल टू आर बाय हंड्रेड सो इट विल बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव टेक द एलसीएम ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू आर बाय हंड्रेड सो इट वुड बिकम टू बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू आर बाय हंड्रेड bring this 100 to lhs so it is in division it will become in multiplication so our answer would be 8% per annum so rate of interest would be 8% per annum hope the question is clear if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubts by commenting in the comment box uh, this question i have put i have asked in community post so you can uh, check it out here as the answer is 8% per annum hope the whole question is clear now coming to question number 12 So question number twelve says, at what rate percent per annum will rupees forty eight hundred yield an interest of rupees seven four seven in two years compounded annually? Here we have been given principal and interest, and we have to find out the uh, rate percent. So we will write whatever is given to us. Interest. Rupees seven four seven. Time is given as two years, and rate of interest we have to find out. First of all, we know that amount hota hai principal plus interest. पहले amount निकालना पड़ेगा तभी equal equate कर पाएंगे हम. तो rupees forty eight hundred plus seven four seven. Both are given to us here and here. so amount will become kya rupees 5547 in our next step we will write amount equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n so amount would become rupees 5547 we have just find out principal given as 4800 into 
one plus rate we have to find out and two years. Now, let's move further. So it would become rupees five five four seven by forty eight hundred equal to one plus R by hundred raised to the power M. Cancel it, it will go by three. So three ones are three, three six are eighteen, zero 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 are three ones are three. 3 8s are 3 9 uh, 3 8s are 24 3 4s are 12 and 3 9s are 24 so 1849 and 48 uh, 1600 so we know that 1849 how can we find that by doing this so it will go by 4 4 are 16 8 minus 6 to 49, 8. So it would become 3. 3. 3 is a 9, 3 is a 24. So we know that uh, 1849 is the square of 43 and 1600 is the square of 40. For equating, we have to do this 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n. Let's move further. So we would write since powers are same basis will also be same. So we would write 43 by 40 equal to 1 plus R by 100. Bring this one here on the left hand side. So LCM would become 40, 43 minus 40 equal to R by 100. So, 3 by 40, bring this 100 to here, equal to it, cancel it, 2 to the 4, 2 5 is a 10. So, it would become 15 by 2, rate, split it, 7 whole number, 1 by 2 percent per annum. So, rate of interest would be 7 by uh, 7, 7 and a half percent per annum. So, I hope the whole video questions are quite clear if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubts by commenting in the comment box so in my upcoming videos i will be solving more of the question of compound interest so if you guys like my videos if it is somewhere helpful to you subscribe to my channel hit the like button share the videos as much as possible sare uh, solution videos ke link mein is video ke description box mein dal dungi wahan se aap check, check out kar sakte hain and please subscribe. Thank you so much.